Now, I'm sitting here with someone who you would recognise. Uh, in the past, Test Masters have been a part of shows like Blue Healers and Neighbours. Uh, hosted the American version, I didn't even know there was one, of Here's Humphrey. <laughs> when did Humphrey go international? <laughs> oh, gosh, it's got to be about 15 years ago now on PBS. And you've uh, been promoting healthy, gluten-free and vegan recipes on Dr Oz and also on Australia's <laughs> Today Show. Yeah, no, Dr Oz has not happened yet, but it will. So, you know, we're negotiating with them, which is great. Now, no, it's, uh, it was fun on the Today Show. Carl's a bit of a laugh. <laughs> Carl, yes. And you are the Blender Girl. That's the name of your book. Yes. Why the Blender? What's, what can the Blender do for us? Oh, well, it makes healthy fast food possible. So, you know, we're all busy, so we're canning, vacuum packing and bottling everything else. But I don't want to compromise on my health and nutrition because I've got something more pressing to do. So enter the blender and convenience meals just become really, really easy. Um, so just what would you use your blender for? It's not just for juices, is it? <laughs> no, we do not coat check our teeth at the door. No, I mean, of course, there's a full repertoire of soups and smoothies and juices and cocktails. I'm not a monk. Um, but, you know, I'm making burgers. You don't look like and... a monk. <laughs> And full meals and, you know, salads and um, desserts and appetizer snacks, all kinds of stuff. So we're using the blender. They're blender-inspired dishes, but by no means blender only. So we're using the blender to make, you know, beautiful sauces and spreads and things that we're going to highlight the taste and texture of the more sink your teeth into it foods. Uh, people usually think of smoothies when they hear the word uh, a blender. Are you into your smoothies? Absolutely. Yeah, I've got an app coming out uh, with Random House Digital uh, in New York um, in September. So it's going to be 100 smoothie recipes. So we're really excited about that. So is America home now? I live in LA, yes, but I'm from Melbourne, so it's nice to be home. Do you follow the footy still? A absolutely. Who? Yeah, well, my dad is a Kangaroos fan. Well, so, they're doing you know, all right. They are, thank goodness, or it would be a very unhappy household to come back to. Um, so g give us an example of if you were putting a meal together <laughs> using yeah. just your blender. Yeah. What could you... What could you not throw Ooh. together. What could you create? Yeah, well, I would probably start with the creamy cauliflower soup in the book because it uses six ingredients and makes you look like a rock star in 10 minutes. Sure I can that. make that soup in 12 minutes. Then I would make a burger. I've got these beautiful um, spicy chickpea burgers. And you make the batter. You make the batter in the blender, kind of like a food processor. And then um, I just serve that with, you know, a beautiful portobello mushroom burger and some beautiful vegetables and things. And then I'd probably make some truffles and a pudding and a beautiful salad to go with it. So no meat in your life? No. I mean, I choose to be a vegetarian. But what's great about this book is even though the recipes are gluten-free and vegan, I'm not really an extreme foodist. So for me, I was really wanting to show people that fruits and vegetables could taste really delicious. But if you want to put, you know, a lean piece of fish or a steak with some of these salads, it's fantastic. It's really not about gluten-free or being vegan or vegetarian. It's just about a celebration of whole foods and fruits and vegetables in the quickest, most fun way to include them into your lifestyle. I did a meat-free week about uh, four months ago. Yeah. I got through it very easily. Yeah. I mean, it's and I amazing. felt good at the end of it. Yeah. It's amazing um, how light the food is, you know, and just if you just include, you know, one one lean meal a week, it can really make a difference to your health, you know. But I mean, these recipes are meant to be paired with whatever you're eating, you know. Do, so. do, do vegans sometimes, because a lot of them, I know every time we sort of talk about meat or whatever on uh, the program, <laughs> I get really hostile emails. Um, some people... <laughs> They, maybe they need some meat yeah, well, just to but calm them down he, but, a little but, bit. But here's the thing, you know, I'm a blood type A, so I thrive on kind of a vegetarian diet with maybe a bit of fish here and there. But there's some people like blood type O, they need meat. So I'm truly, my personal belief is not everybody should be a vegetarian. But we know that fruits and vegetables are a boon to health no matter how you eat. So that's really what it's about, just trying to include more of those healthy things into your life. Tess, any acting anymore? Yes. I mean, it's been a very busy year with the book and I signed a multi-book deal. So I have another book coming out in March of next year and then another one in 2016. Um, but I still do lots of voiceover work. I'm going back to do some more video games in September and, you know, I still present a lot of things. And yeah, no, I mean, it's always going to be a part of my life. I mean, really, the kitchen is just another way to tell a story. So for me, it all sort of comes together, which is great. The Blender Girl is the name of the book. 100 Gluten-Free Vegan Recipes by Tess Masters. It's an easy uh, title to remember, The Blender Girl. Uh, this will be Get a workout around uh, my kitchen. <laughs> Thank you. So lovely to have you on the on the show. Thank you for having me. Tess Masters.